Hello guys, Martin here, um, coming to you with my final reveal video for the FX Junkers JU87B that I've been building. Um, that's the one by FX. <coughs> Those that have been following my thread, build thread up to now, thanks for watching. And uh, I just want to talk about it before I take you into the actual photographs of the final uh, build. Anyway, first question, would I build this again? Um, no, simple as that. And the reason why I wouldn't build it again is uh, it's an old kit. It's raised uh, detail on the surfaces, raised rivet details that are all over the place. I think it's overkill and um, <clears throat> no recessed panel lines. As I've progressed in my modelling and seen the effects that you can get with recessed panel lines, etc., and recessed rivets, you know, that's what I want from here on. But I bought this kit, it was cheap. I didn't realise at the time it wasn't recessed panel lines, I didn't re realise the age, etc. So when I got it, it was slightly disappointing. Um, the fits, everything goes together with a lot of help. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, as you saw from my build thread, I had filler on every seam, every joint needed some filler, it needed work, and uh, I thought that was going to be a nightmare. But uh, one guy on my build thread uh, goes by the name of Dorf Fotek on YouTube. He suggested using nail polish remover and a cotton swab, Q-tip and uh, just moisten the end and just wipe it along the seams and the, the excess filler just wipes off with a couple of strokes it's amazing nice tip so that took a lot of stress away from me because I thought I envisioned, envisioned myself doing like three four hours of sanding and losing lots of the detail um, so that really helped anyway it's, I guess it's good for a beginner and as some people have suggested on my build thread that it's, it's good to practice, it's a challenge, it's good for practicing techniques and methods with. I guess that's one way of looking at it, a positive way. But um, I wouldn't waste my money. I want to do something more upscale that looks more realistic, offers more realism. Because uh, I enjoy doing those builds, especially kits like Azigawa and Tamiya. I haven't tried Edward, I haven't tried Obi Boss, I'm yet to try those. But the Azigawa and Tamiya kits that I did the last couple of builds, I was really impressed with and I really enjoyed building them with no filler whatsoever. So, um, anyway, before we go, I just want to say a big thanks to everyone that's kept up on this build thread so far. And uh, hope you enjoy this final reveal. One thing I will say about this that's posit on a positive note, the decals, they were excellent, went on great. I just had one little one that comes down here on the uh, air intake cowling. Just it, that has some silver in. That's the first time I've had silver in. But apart from that, they all went on great and they're really, really thin and matted down. So they're good. All right, let's move on. Let's give you luck, guys time to have a look at this. I don't want to bore them off along too much. So hope you enjoy it. Take care, guys. Happy modeling. Chops away. Tally-ho.